My name is Jessica Rice, and today we want to talk about a topic that really often comes up for me when I'm working with different clients who have reached a certain level of success and they're really wondering to themselves, what's next? What is it that I want to do with this next chapter of my life? What type of legacy am I looking to leave and create, not only for myself, but you know, overall for my career, my family, and how I just want to move forward? And this is a really important topic because we are often trained on how we kind of move up in our careers, but we really don't know how we start to grow or even transition out. And so really understanding the signs and signals of when it's appropriate for us to really start to pivot or shift or even consider that big transition and walk away. So some of the signs that do start to come up, especially early on, is when you're not starting to notice that you're not feeling very interested or motivated in your role. Yes, there's a lot more things happening. Maybe there's even exciting things, but it seems like just more work is starting to pile onto your plate and you're starting to feel burdened. This can be a really big indicator that you're no longer interested or nothing is really piquing your interest inside of your role. And instead of feeling motivated, you're actually feeling unmotivated and disinterested, which can lead to other problems if not taken care of early on. Another signal can be that you actually start solving problems outside of your role and you start looking outside of your purview for ways that you can improve processes or fix things. And they might even be impacting your role, but you've become distracted by how you can fix things because that seems even more exciting than the thing that you're currently doing. And maybe if you are uninterested in your role because it's something that you can do while you're sleeping, now you're starting to fill your time thinking about other things and ways that you can make improvements because it's now something else to be thinking about. The real question there, is it the right thing? Is it the thing that's going to bring true fulfillment for you? Or is it something that's just filling the void? Another consideration is when you actually start to feel incredibly overwhelmed or you have brain fog and you're starting to think about what you could actually do to grow in your career, what things that you should be learning, how could you be adding to your skill sets and expertise? Are there certain programs, certifications that you should be taking on? And all of a sudden, it just starts to feel like too much. This can be a really big indicator that you might want to consider what it is that brings value to your role and how you really want to lead. Not all of us want to just have the bigger title or keep growing up the ladder. Sometimes it's really about finding meaning and purpose and even living a little bit quieter. And there's different ways that we can approach this, but oftentimes it's really important that you want to consider what that truly looks like for you before you start diving into taking on too many things and learning things that aren't going to actually lead you to the true fulfillment and happiness and joy that you're wanting to experience. Another feeling is that you're just not growing anymore. You're not growing in your role. You're not growing in your company. You just feel like you're stagnating and you're not really sure what that looks like for you. And you're not sure if you wanna to transition to another company or just look into where you start to retire. Do you want to just stay within your role and stay safe and happy and mediocre? Or do you want to transition out completely or find something else? All of this can lead to overwhelm and a lack of clarity, which makes you just want to crawl under your blankets and, you know, hide. So if you're starting to feel that real intense brain fog because you're starting to consider all of the different things that you might need to be doing, I really encourage you to just take a, take a step back and think about, Again, what brings you true fulfillment? Where do your natural strengths lie in? And when you feel the most joyous, what are you doing? And then the final thing is that you just find yourself daydreaming. You're in this place of escapism and you're starting to imagine what it might be to live on a mountaintop with a bunch of goats and chickens and just really leave the world behind. If you're in this place, that might be an indicator that you're kind of ready for a change or a shift within your career. And now it's really a good time to really consider what is it that you do so well that really brings the fulfillment and fills your cup every single day and energizes and sparks you to keep moving forward. 
rather than escaping our reality, the best thing that we can actually do in that case is really truly lean in. Lean into what others tell you you do well. Lean into those little moments that bring you peace. And then really consider what it is that you truly want to do. It's so important as leaders that we start to consider what that next phase of transition looks like for us, because we've spent the first 20, 30 years of our lives working so hard for a specific career, only to find ourselves really lost and wondering, what does the next phase look like? Because it all isn't the same. There isn't a cookie cutter path for leaders. There isn't a cookie cutter path for finding fulfillment and transitioning and really elevating yourself into becoming the person that you truly aspire to be. I hope this was helpful for you today. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Did this resonate for you? Is this a place that you have found yourself being? And are you starting to consider what a transition might look like for you?